absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's no, yeah, it's um, so that's awesome. Um, um, last last question before we hop into um, happen to our our, our ambush uh right. segment. Right. Um, you've been like you've been around for a while, you've worked with some of the greats, you've seen a lot of people um start out and um become household names. Right. Um, you've seen a lot of people um come and go. Um, give us uh, for people that did that, did, maybe that you can shed some light on. For the younger viewers that didn't really know about Paul Mooney, um, and um, rest in peace, he his, he passed the other day, and um, his legacy is just definitely not to be denied. He was one of some right. some of the greatest writing on some of some groundbreaking shows. Um, yeah. What should we know about him as a younger audience? We didn't really get a chance to see him uh, perform and know exactly what he stood for. Well, I think that first and foremost, I, I hear a lot of people, and God rest his soul, but I hear a lot of people talk about, you know, how he didn't care and he took chances and things like that. But you got to remember, Paul was a consummate professional. I mean, at the end of the day, he was a comedian. And so it wasn't like he was going up on stage to put Whitey down. That wasn't his mission. His mission was, I'm going to make you laugh. You give me that mic, I know what to do with it. And so uh, the thing that I love most about him is that if you really uh, wanted to, you know, you had a question or wanted to know something and you asked him the right way with respect, of course, Paul would Paul would put down whatever he was doing to answer your question. And if he, if he watched your set and saw you perform, you know, he would wait and, and you know, see how you approach and he would give you tags. He would he would help you fix a bit. You know, he said, you know, you, you, homie, you, you, you shouldn't do that. You, you're going too far. You're giving too much information and you really could get to the punchline a lot quicker. So he was, he was really into, uh, uh, his love for comedy and helping other comedians do it well. If, if he could tell you really were, uh, respecting the game, because if you were bastardizing the game thinking you were going to get a quick, a quick, uh, fame thing, it, that he didn't even have time for that. Right. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that that I think that speaks volumes to the to the um originators of yeah. of of comedy and for the people that that paved the way who yeah. showed us who showed us a lot of us stand on because yeah. you really don't get that a lot anymore. You know, now yeah. you get um come to you know come to my room, hang out. Um if I see you if I see you in the building a lot of times, then yeah. maybe I'll give you a couple I'll let you open up. But that's like after I've been there fifteen times and spent ten thousand dollars on cheap liquor. And laughed at all your jokes, and now it's like, well, and I, you really don't see it anymore. So that was kind of that's kind of one of the headaches that I had, um, right. because it's like I don't know you. I'm like nobody. I don't know you either. Like I don't right. understand the, right. the soap opera of it all. But you know, at the end of the day, like you said, real talent's gonna rise no matter what, and um, Absolutely. you know, it'll take that one good break. So Absolutely. um, man, uh, you know, we just keep we gonna keep on keep on pressing our way, but yeah. um.